Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. Today we're going to compare two of Colombia's most popular travel destinations, the mountainous metropolis of Medellin and the seaside city of Cartagena. Which is better? We'll compare the top things to do, the best places to eat, as well as the cost of accommodations and more to recommend which city we'd prefer for a short visit or a long stay. We'll start with the top attractions. In Medellin, you'll definitely have to check out the El Poblado neighborhood, where you'll find an abundance of lush, tropical greenery, as well as many vibrant walking streets lined with shops, restaurants, bars, and cafes, like on the must-see Provenza Street that completely fills up at night with lots of people looking to have a good time and to enjoy the incredible atmosphere. In El Poblado, there's also many nightclubs surrounding Parque Lleras. Another popular neighborhood in Medellin is the Comuna 13 district, where you'll learn about its turbulent history, see lots of colorful and vibrant street art, and take a scenic cable car ride to get some breathtaking panoramic views overlooking the city. There's also Botero Plaza, which has numerous sculptures by the famous Colombian artist Botero, as well as the Mercado del Rio, with eateries from around the world. Now in Cartagena, you'll definitely have to explore the Walled City, which is surrounded by 11 kilometers of historic walls and is filled with beautiful colonial architecture that's bursting with color and overflowing with vines and greenery. There's also the Hetsemani neighborhood to wander around, which has lots of charming buildings covered in lush tropical plants and flowers, as well as tons of picturesque narrow laneways filled with colorful artwork and paintings. Things. And of course, there's some lively party streets and squares that fill up with people at night. You can also explore the San Felipe de Barajas Fort, which was built in 1536, as well as the local Bizerto Market. And there's a few different beaches in the city center, but the best beaches are over on the Rosario Islands, which is just a short day trip from Cartagena, where you will enjoy pristine white sand overlooking the turquoise Caribbean Sea. As for Medellin, the most popular day trip would be to Guatape, where you'll find the impressive Piedra del Peñol and incredibly scenic lakes. So which would we recommend for the best things to do? Well, both have lots of great options, but we'd have to say that Cartagena has more interesting attractions and fun places to visit. Now for the food, our favorite part of traveling. Both cities have some amazing restaurants and some spectacular patios, rooftops, and terraces. In Medellin, we loved the food at Restaurante La Gloria de Gloria. A few other tasty options were Restaurante Idilico, as well as Alambique, Relato Restaurante, and Rocoto Restaurante. Tony Roma's revolving restaurant also had some phenomenal views, as did 360 Rooftop Bar. For Cartagena, our favorite eateries were Alma Restaurante, as well as Restaurante Salele, Jardin Santa Clara, Sierpe Caribe Fusion, Restaurante San Valentin, and street food from Hamburguesas Gabriel. Restaurante Fuerte de San Sebastian del Pastelillo had some fantastic views too. We tried lots of other great restaurants in each city as well, and you can check them all out in our best restaurants videos, which we'll link in this video's description section down below. So did we prefer the food in Medellin or Cartagena? Both were excellent. But we have to give this one to Medellin. The food was consistently better and, in our opinion, a bit cheaper too. As for the accommodations, we found that Medellin was cheaper than Cartagena. And for a Google hotel search, the average four-star hotel price in Cartagena for the high season is 290 Canadian dollars a night versus in Medellin for a four-star hotel for the same date would only be $135 a night. The accommodations also seem to be nicer in Medellin with more modern buildings. 
We stayed in three Airbnb apartments during our time in Cartagena. Two of them were in Boca Grande and one was in the Manga neighborhood. We found all three to be very loud throughout the day and night. Versus the apartment we stayed at in Medellin's El Poblado neighborhood was much quieter. So for accommodations, Medellin is definitely the winner. After that, let's compare the weather. During our three months in Cartagena, between the end of November and the end of February, it didn't rain once and the temperature was between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius every day and very humid. On the other hand, Medellin is known as the city of eternal spring, with milder temperatures around 27 degrees Celsius all year round and less humidity. However, there is a lot more rain in Medellin, which is probably why it's a much greener city. We were split on this one. Tom preferred the hot and humid weather in Cartagena, and I preferred Medellin's more moderate climate. Now for safety, this one is kind of hard for us. While the news has been full of crime in Medellin, we had no issues. Although we were extra cautious, stayed in good areas, and would take Ubers in the evening. In Cartagena, there were also safety concerns, so we were still cautious, but to a lesser extent. We found that it felt safer in the main touristy areas, and had no problems walking home at night. We're not sure if that's the wrong mindset, but it was our personal experience for our three month stay. So overall, we thought that Cartagena felt a bit safer to us. As for the things we didn't like in these cities, Cartagena had a lot of aggressive street vendors, especially in Centro and Boca Grande Beach, which got really annoying really fast. There were also street rappers who would follow you around rapping and would expect money afterwards. In Medellin, there was noticeably less aggressive street vendors, although there were still some. Regarding cleanliness, we felt that Medellin was cleaner, more modern, and had better sidewalks. Cartagena had some issues with garbage on the streets, smelly water overflowing into the roads, and under-maintained walkways. We also noticed that the Ubers were pretty scammy in both cities, and we would always have to check the fare afterwards to make sure they didn't add some phony charges, which happened to us more than a few times. However, Medellin did have a nice subway system versus Cartagena only has buses. So for aspects of the city that we didn't enjoy, Medellin had less negatives in our opinion. Overall, we felt that Cartagena is a more interesting city with more things for you to check out for a short vacation like a few days or a week. It has many beaches, historic attractions, and is generally very Instagrammable. But for a longer stay, like a few months or a year, we would definitely prefer Medellin. It has a much more livable city vibe. It's greener, has newer modern buildings, better transit, and has more reasonably priced accommodations. Well, we hope you enjoyed this Medellin vs Cartagena comparison video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and check out our Cartagena videos, as well as our Medellin videos. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.